there is such potential at the poker flat. We've got up there from the University of Alaska, a launch facility has been in operation for 25 years. Research, academia, they are preeminent. If we could get commercialization going there, what it means for the interior is just incredible. It really is. The notion of Alaska launching satellites into space may seem like the stuff of dreamers, but the prospects of new jobs for Alaskans and more dollars for the state treasury is not science fiction. Alaska has enormous potential in the commercial space industry. Alaska is home to the nation's only civilian rocket range, Poker Flat, located about 30 miles north of Fairbanks. It was founded by the University of Alaska's Geophysical Institute in 1969. And since then, scientists have launched hundreds of small rockets and weather balloons to learn more about everything from the aurora to global climate change. A growing number of commercial space companies are quietly visiting Poker Flat. They see it as a potential site for launching small but sophisticated communication satellites into polar orbit. I think Alaska has a great opportunity for the exploration of commercial satellites in space. We can do this at Poker Flat, the University of Alaska. And we're geographically located close enough to the North Pole to not only make this feasible, to give us a little bit of an edge. We should take advantage of that. The commercial space industry is booming. Nationally, it grew 29% last year, from $2.8 billion to $3.6 billion. Other states already are cashing in. Virginia has attracted 450 space-related companies, which employ 10,000 people. Hawaii estimates a small commercial spaceport there would generate an initial 100 to 300 employees, with eventually up to 1,850 space-related jobs. Just from the standpoint of the uh, operation at Poker Flat, we uh, inject into the Fairbanks economy of the order of three to four million dollars a year uh, from the, at the Poker Flat from just from the research interest. If we were to be launching satellites, it would probably be on a basis of, say, 15 to 50 satellites a year would be um, something of the order of at least 10 times that. House resolution number five by the House Rules Committee. Representative Tom Moyer introduced in the state legislature a bill to take advantage of Alaska's great potential in space. House Bill 46 creates an Alaska Aerospace Development Corporation whose mission is to attract commercial space companies. The corporation would have the authority to, uh, to bond and several other financial instruments to help build the infrastructure we need to attract the commercial uh, launch operations. It also would uh, operate under a, a lease arrangement with the university so that the poker flat uh, preeminent uh, mission of research and academia is maintained and that the important NASA operations there also uh, are maintained. And I believe all, all these can be done together. The Aerospace Corporation will help diversify Alaska's economy with a clean new industry that will provide jobs to Alaskans. Alaska will attract new businesses and could become a leader in the polar aerospace field. And the upfront costs of getting this industry off the ground are relatively small. Launching from the northern attitude from the polar uh, region is the only way economically that you can do the polar orbit that's going to be used for the three primary functions of the future, monitoring environmental change, weather determination, and remote sensing to locate water and resources and minerals. An important aspect of the bill is preserving the university's valuable educational and research activities at Poker Flat, which it operates under contract with NASA. The university isn't really set up to be in the commercial space or aerospace business. The advantage of creating a separate corporation is that that corporation can deal with all the private sector firms that might be interested and provide a way for the university to be supportive of this commercial development without impacting directly the re research mission of the university. What makes Poker Flat so attractive is miniaturization. Like shrinking computers and televisions, new technology means spacecraft are smaller, lighter, cheaper, and smarter than ever. 
Alaska also enjoys several unique advantages. One, geography. It's closer to the polar orbit, which is key for certain types of communications. And as the largest land-based rocket range in the world, there's plenty of area all the way to the Arctic Ocean to recover payloads. A second advantage is Poker Flat is streamlined. It's not burdened with a huge bureaucracy like those that run other launch facilities. That means quick approval for launches. Three, the range is undergoing a $30 million upgrade financed by the federal government with better launch pads, control center, and the ability to keep up with developing technology. The Alaska Aerospace Development Bill will help make the last frontier a leader in the final frontier. I've always been really excited by the possibilities of expanding our frontier. It's what attracts people to Alaska, the frontier, and it's not over right at the borders of our lands. We've got the universe to look at. Thank you.